I know what you're thinking. Why would anyone go to Madrid, Spain for Chinese food? If you're like me, you live in a smaller town in Spain where authentic Chinese flavors are difficult to encounter. I've been living in Spain for two years now and naturally, I really miss those authentic flavors. So around Chinese New Year this year, I did the most Malaysian thing I've ever done. I traveled for food. Come along. What are you looking forward to eating this trip? Uh, siumai. Siumai. vibe was on the premise of it's Chinese New Year, let's get in the spirit. I, I think we stayed at the most perfect Airbnb. Let me show you what I mean. Good morning. It is the second day of our trip so far and it is looking fresco. Can't tell by the way we're dressing right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Irish man is crying. <laughs> but we're looking forward to Taiwanese noodles and wonton soup and you know, the lot. <laughs> it's perfect for a rainy, cool day. Spicy chashu noodles, meh. The dry noodles, a little meh. I'll go back to the bow. Somewhat refreshed. It is Minzaman, Chinese New Year Eve. Typically, 
you do a little reunion dinner with your family or friends if you're living abroad. Tonight would be exactly that. One, one person I know and she's bringing some friends. And that's what happens when you live abroad. You know, Madrid is one of those places where initially I thought it was just another city. Like Singapore, I like Hong Kong, it's just another city but with European buildings. But every time I visit Madrid so far, I'm discovering, I guess, something different. Like rooftop bars or more of the social scene, more of the fitness scene, more of the movement scene, more of the breathwork scene. It's just, there's a lot more to discover, that's for sure. And especially after discovering Usera, this neighborhood, I think I like Madrid a little more. Are you familiar with Madrid? Where should I visit next? <laughs>